Hi everyone, I hope you guys had a great Tuesday. So what we're gonna do tonight is we're gonna make Play-Doh. And I'm gonna show you a simple art project that you guys can do. So I've never made Play-Doh before, so let's see what happens. So I've got my two bowls here, and what you need is flour, salt, warm water, vegetable oil, food coloring, food coloring, and some Kool-Aid. Now you need this Kool-Aid so you can make it smell good, okay? So what you're gonna do first is you're gonna take your one cup of flour, you're gonna pour it in the bowl here, okay? Then you're gonna take one fourth cup of salt, pour it in with the flour, okay? Then you're gonna set that bowl aside, take your other bowl here, okay? You're going to take the oil, pour it in there, and that's one tablespoon of oil. You're gonna take three-fourths of warm water. Now let your mom or dad maybe pour the warm water into the bowl, okay? You're gonna pour that in there. You could see the steam coming up. Then you're gonna take a couple drops of food coloring, and as you can see, I have purple tonight. So we're gonna do one, two, three, four, Four little drops of food coloring, maybe one more for good luck, five. Then you're gonna take your Kool-Aid packet and it's purple and it smells like grape. And you know what? We're gonna pour the whole thing in there. Look at that. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a, a spoon, you're just gonna stir that, okay? The warm water, mix everything together. Then you're gonna take your flour, and your salt, and you're gonna pour it into the big bowl, just like this, okay? Make sure that's all out. Okay, and then what you're gonna do is you're going to stir it. See that? You're gonna stir it all together. Okay, you're gonna stir it like this. Now, it still may be a little bit warm, but that's okay, because the more warm water, the more the Play-Doh is gonna stick together. Okay, we're gonna stir it. You gotta make sure you get all the flour. See, now look at that. It's all turning purple. And it smells like great Kool-Aid. So you have to make sure that you get all the salt and all the flour mixed in there. Okay, as you can see, it's looking good. So far, all the flour and salt is gone. Okay, we're gonna go like that. Now what you're gonna do is, you're gonna take a little flour, like right here. You're gonna put a little bit on the table, okay? Because then what you have to do is, so I'm gonna sprinkle some here on the table, okay? Then you're gonna take it out of, you're gonna take the Play-Doh out of the bowl here. Okay, let's move all this. So we stirred it, we stirred it, and you're gonna scoop it out. See, just like that it on the table, move the bowl, and then what you're going to do is you're going to knead the Play-Doh into the flour, just like that. Look at that. It's actually turning out pretty good. I'm really happy with this because you know what? I love Play-Doh. And I know some of you guys have Play-Doh at home, but you know what? Why not make your own? It's something fun that you could do with your mom or dad at home. And then once you go like that, and if you want, you could put a little bit more flour on the table too. Flour's not gonna hurt the Play-Doh at all. So if you just go like that, okay, you see that, you could flip it over, okay? And you know what's fun to do with Play-Doh is you can take scissors, you can cut it. You can get some cookie cutters. So if your mom has any cookie cutters at home, you could say, hey mom, can I use your cookie cutter? And then, you could just put the cookie cutter into the Play-Doh and you can make like little designs from it. Now look at that. And if you smell it, whew, it smells like purple Kool-Aid. So you know what, that was really simple. You didn't need a lot of ingredients. It didn't take that long to make. See, you just go like that. And then what you could do is you could just take a big Ziploc baggie here and you could store the Play-Doh in it. So if you didn't want to play with it right away, 
We didn't have to. You could just store it in the bag just like this. Let it sit maybe for a few minutes or if you wanted to overnight. Then open it up and there you go. You have your Play-Doh. Very simple. Like I said, I am so excited that it turned out. So we're going to put all this aside now. Now what we're going to do, I made a little mess here, but you know, that's okay. We'll clean it up, right? So before I start this art project, I just want to see how you guys are all doing. Are you guys doing okay? Are you guys having fun at home with your mom and dad? Are you guys doing fun things? Huh? I know I miss everybody, all the kids at school. I know all the other teachers miss everybody too. So let's cross our fingers that we'll be able to all be together again very soon. So what I'm going to do now is I have two little cups here. Okay, I've got some dish soap in here some paint, some straws, and I'm gonna use my food coloring too. And then what I did, I just cut some white paper into like squares. So we're gonna make bubble art. Now, just like the Play-Doh, I've never done this either. So cross our fingers again that this works. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour some orange paint first into this little container here. Maybe about that much, okay? We're gonna put the paint aside. I'm gonna add some dish soap to it. I we're just gonna pour it in and just see. And then we're gonna little drops of food coloring in there. Okay. Then we're gonna pour some more dish soap in there. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a spoon and we're just gonna stir it. Maybe just a little bit. I'm hoping that was okay. And then we're going to stir it like this. So now, here comes the test to see if it works. So I'm just going to take this blank piece of white paper here and just put this on there, okay? So what you're going to do is you're going to take a straw. All you're going to do is pretend you're blowing bubbles. You're going to put the straw in the cup and blow bubbles. And what's supposed to happen is the bubbles are supposed to start to form over the cup. Okay, so we're going to see if this works. Let's see. See, and then what you can do is, did you notice how I put my paper over the cup as I'm blowing bubbles? And look it, it made a little design. So I guess what you can do, I think I did add a little more paint than I was supposed to, but you know what, that's okay because I think it turned out pretty cool because you can see the bubbles in there. Okay, so let's see what happens with the food coloring. So we're going to take another straw, I'll move that straw, and we're going to do the same thing and see what happens, okay? Oh, look at that, that's pretty cool. Look at that, you can see the bubbles in there too and like a little design it made. And like I said, I think I did add a little bit too much food coloring, but you know what, that's okay because it's art. You could use as much as you want, less as you want. And you know what? Like I always said, art, you just use your imagination. And look at what happens. You got the paint, you got the food coloring. So maybe if you added just a little less food coloring, and then you could still blow the bubbles and then put your picture over it. And that's called bubble art. So there you go. So I really hope you enjoyed this video about making Play-Doh and making the bubble art. And like I said, Making this for the first time, I didn't know if it was going to work, but look at it did. And that made me so happy. Same with the bubble art too. All these videos are for all the kiddos out there just to make them smile and to be happy. Okay? So I hope you guys are doing great. Make sure you're washing those hands. Make sure you're smiling. And I hope to see all you guys soon. Have a great night, guys. Bye.